when I got the um, word that my second brother had passed on, I was in a kind of like a Narcotics Anonymous meeting in Buffalo, and we were watching a film about a basketball player named Chris Heron. And um, I'm not the type of dude that really cries in front of other people, but his story resonated so deep in me just the way he was talking like i would be at i'd be playing basketball he played basketball for the boston celtics he'd be at practice and he'd go to use the bathroom and he'd call his dealer and tell him hey man i'm leaving in 20 minutes if you can jump on the highway and meet me he had to meet him like 45 minutes outside of boston and um man just remembering how crazy my life was um like I could literally like be somewhere enjoying myself. I literally could be somewhere and be enjoying myself and that urge would come up and I'd be like, I gotta go. And I'd go to my spot in Buffalo and um, the only difference, you know, I lost my other brother September 29th of 2006 which kind of caused me to downward spiral um, into pills more and then breaking my neck right after that and da 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 um, I didn't have the skills needed to um, you know for life I didn't have any fucking I didn't have I mean I had some skills but I didn't have any kind of like um, you know, like relapse prevention skills or, you know, it's just stuff that you learn going to meetings, you know. I went to all kinds of meetings for a year, two to three times a week. They were mandatory to be on Suboxone. And I would go and it'd be minus 10 degrees and I would be on the subway, you know, on my way down there. And I might be the only one at the meeting. And I just said, this shit's free. I'm going to take advantage of it. And I remember them saying, you know, out of all of you here, there's 20 of you. One or two of you will, will make it through and be sober for longer than a year. One of you will probably be sober for longer than three years. Most of you will, most of you will die. Most of you will not make it through three months. Uh, most of you will end up in jail, but most of you will die in the next two to four years. I mean, and just hearing that, and I just remember looking at the counselor, and I said, well, I'm not going to be one of these motherfuckers that dies. That I can tell you. And um, by the grace of God, you know, I just, you know, like I tell people that I talk to, you know, find something, whether it's a preacher, like I listen to Carter Conlon and David Wilkerson, or find like, you know, I just, I forgot all about Chris Heron. I think, man, what is his movie? Unguarded, I think it's on Netflix. But um, find somebody that's real, that you can talk to. And, um, you know, I'm gonna start, um, I got a couple people right now that I kind of talk to um, that, um, you know, that I do life coaching with, but I'm going to start really putting it out there on the platform, um, you know, for $5 a day, $35 a week, and, um, you know, making it kind of like a supplement to, you know, those people that are in meetings or trying to get in meetings or trying to get their life together, making um, myself available, you know, from, you know, nine in the morning till eight o'clock at night you know for people that need you know coaching and counseling and help or or just opinions and stuff like that so i just recommend that you find you know people places and things that's a real thing um you know that isn't some shit that they came up with that isn't some shit they came up with um out of a hat you know people places and things that shit is um like legit stuff it, it's not something that um you know you know i'll tell you people places and things i mean there's nothing i mean it, it's so simple sobriety sometimes that people overthink it you know 